I was imaging supernova 2020 HFV. This was a supernova that was found in late April um, in Leo in NGC 3643, which is a very faint galaxy. And my images had trailed stars. Now supernovas are a, a one-time event and um, the subsequent nights were cloudy so I didn't get a chance to um, retake the images. So I was left with um, pictures where the stars were slightly oval and I wanted to fix this in post-processing. I'm going to describe to you the solution I used to fix the oval stars in such a way that you can apply it to Photoshop or GIMP. But first let me take you through the concept. By understanding the concept you'll be able to apply it appropriately to your own images. First you'll need to duplicate your image as a new layer. Now the default layer mode is called normal and this just shows the top layer so you shouldn't see any change yet in your image. If we change the layer mode of the top layer to darker then any parts of the image that are darker in the layer below will show through the layer above. But because the layers are both exactly the same, you won't actually see any difference. Now here comes the trick. If you move the layer above in the direction of the ovalness of your stars, then your stars will start to look more circular. Now in practice it's a little bit more complicated than this, um, but in essence the concept is very very simple. The only difference you really need to make to make this a practical process is to only apply this to the stars and not the rest of the image. And you can do this by selecting the stars. So here's the whole process. Duplicate your image as a layer, set the new layer to darken, Select the stars in the new layer. It's important you only select the stars. Expand the star selection by 5 pixels so that some of the sky is included. Feather the selection by 2 pixels to smooth things a little bit. Then move the selection in the direction of the distortion. And this will fix your stars. Having applied this approach to my image of the supernova, you can see on the left the image before the correction and on the right the image after the correction. You can see the stars are um, much more circular. They're not perfect yet, but they are a lot better. I've created an action so that you don't have to remember these steps. You can download the action from the link in the description. The action works in Photoshop CS6. It will probably work in other Photoshop versions but I don't have them to test it, so give it a go and leave your comments in the description if you find another version that it works on. The actions are stored in a hidden folder called App Data. So go to your C drive, then Users, find the name of your user, then App Data, Roaming, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop CS6, Presets, Actions, and save the file there. Obviously if you're using a different version of Adobe Photoshop you'll need to modify this appropriately. Then from inside Photoshop select the load actions option from the actions menu and you'll be able to install it. Once installed select the layer with your star image on then click the fix oval stars button then follow the instructions. They will tell you to press Control H. This just removes the uh, selection markings and you then use the cursor keys to shift the frame around until you get the stars the way you like them. And here is the final image. And I hope you'll agree it looks a lot better than the original. I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, click the thumbs up and if you loved it, please subscribe. Thanks very much.